On this week's episode of Scientific Tuesdays, we're going to take some candles and mix them with some tricks. Now, a lot of you in the comments have been asking for some stuff that you can more easily do at home. I'm talking to you, Butter Troll 43. Yes, well, it's your dream come true today. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extinguish candles using carbon dioxide. We can make the carbon dioxide very easy. Stay tuned. Now, all you need for this one is a candle, some baking soda, and some vinegar. Now, I'll use five candles to better illustrate my point here. Once you've got that all lit, Mix the baking soda and vinegar together in a glass. And then hold the mouth of whatever you poured it into near the flames. The carbon dioxide generated by baking soda and vinegar will quickly extinguish all the flames. Now you probably knew that one already, so it's nothing new, but this next one's pretty cool too. Let's check it out. So we're gonna take our single candle here and then light a match from it. Once that's done, I'm going to gently blow out the candle and hold the match into the smoke. As you can see, the candle reignited. This is because the smoke actually works as a fuel and it's still highly combustible. Okay, let's give number three a try. Ah yes, the infamous candle vacuum. Take a candle, light it of course, let it burn for you know a few seconds, then take some water and pour it on a plate. Obviously you should have the candle on the plate as well. Now it's not necessary to add food coloring, but it does help you see the reaction a little bit better. So we'll get that on here. Mix it around just a bit. Once you've got it mixed up good, go ahead and place the plate back down and take a regular drinking glass and place it over the candle. You'll notice that the water begins to fill up in the glass. Now this works because when the oxygen inside the glass is burned out, the water quickly comes in to fill up the gap. Now as many of you know, we sometimes run ads on our videos here on the Scientific Tuesday Show, but this week we're doing something a little different. We're actually supporting a charity. It's Charity Water, and I'd really love it if you guys could hang out and take a look. We've got ourselves a water bacteria testing kit and some nasty swamp water. Now, thousands of people drink water just like this on a daily basis. So I'm gonna test it for bacteria and we'll see how bad it really is. Once we've got it filled up, I'm gonna give it a shake and then we'll let it sit. If it turns yellow, that means it's got all kinds of nasty bacteria in it. So after 45 minutes, we can see this is full of bacteria and it's unsafe to drink. Dirty, nasty water like this that's full of bacteria kills 42,000 people a week. But there is something we can do about that. Scientific Tuesdays and Revision 3 have partnered up with Charity Water, which is a great organization that helps bring water to developing countries and nations. We're also participating in the Ford Global Drive Initiative. You can be one of the first people in the world to test drive the new Ford Focus in Madrid, Spain. But on top of that, Ford will donate $10,000 to a charity of your choice. Now, they're not just picking one person, they're gonna be picking a lot. So, you should go participate yourself, make a video, submit it, just like I'm doing here. And you know what? Maybe I'll see you in Madrid. Let's get a couple water wells built in the name of science. Head over to revision3.com slash Ford Focus and vote Scientific Tuesdays as the winner. Also, go join the Ford Global Drive Initiative, facebook.com slash Ford Focus. Submit your own video and let's get this thing going. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Scientific Tuesdays. We'll see you next week when we launch ourselves to the moon using just a can of beans and a lighter.